lot of times I'm at a show and people will say, well, I don't peel. So this is probably like the best way to show you how to get past that. Ready? I don't peel. Well, good, because it's not just the peeler. Let me show you. This comes with a mandolin. So does your peeler do that? So there it does your slicing. Also, remember it's made in Germany. So this will do slaws and salad. Number one reason, okay, that they use this in Europe is for your slaws and your salad, right? No big surprise, the blade's made in Germany. Now, of course it's a peeler, but let me just show you one other thing. I'm going to show off a little bit here. Here's your corn on the cob, corn off the cob. So again, um, I always say this, uh, do you eat mangoes? Do you eat kiwi fruits? Do you eat papayas? Because certainly you have to peel all of those. If you make pasta sauce, the skin comes right off the tomato, just like that. Now, once a year around the holidays, isn't it nice to know? This will do a great job on your butternut squash as well, too. And lifetime replacement on the blade. Blade never gets dull. Now, after I did all of that, guess what? I can take this, place it back in the mandolin. You saw me peel all that stuff right there. And then here is your cucumber slices. Again, if you're making a salad. Now, the whole set complete, it's a three-piece set. They sell for $20. All right, I'll show you what each of these pieces do. You already seen what the mandolin does. So this snaps right inside of the mandolin. Um, so when you're using the mandolin, which I recommend all the time, all right, whether you're doing potatoes for your julienne or your slicing, um, also right here you have your citrus blades. So this one will start the peel for you, all right? So it makes it a lot easier to peel your citrus then. So look how easy that peels when you use that blade. Now if you want a twist of a lemon or lime, that's also um, for that. Now if you want to do your zesting, there's your zesting. So like I said, the whole set's 20. You have your decorator blade on the bottom. That's the one I showed you before. So again, if you don't peel a lot of things, everyone has a use for this in their kitchen. Even if you have those big fancy tools, all right, do you really want to drag them out when you're trying to do something like this. Again, it's 20, I got one more thing to give you. Now check this out, this is the finger guard. It's worth the price of admission alone. It's something special that we're doing today. Take your veggie when you're down at the end of your slice, place it in the finger guard. No more finger food. With your finger food, even slices all the way to the end. You'd like one over there, sir. Remember, it comes with fully detailed instructions pictures on the instructions. You can always go to the website and order more. Plus on the website we have a video of all the different garnishing things you can do and all the different things it peels. And remember, this peels both ways, okay? So you might be in an area, area where there's a high Latin population and they want to see the uh, yucca. So what I'm saying is at this point if nobody's made a purchase, start peeling all the other things that you have here. If you notice in the other demos, we didn't use the ginger root, so I'll show ginger root. So keep in mind, if the crowd is standing in front of you, they're ready to buy, all it means is that you didn't show them something. Sometimes it might even mean showing them the same thing again, or listening their support. Because remember, we're demonstrators, we're not pitchmen. We encourage the customer to ask questions, which is what sets us apart from everything, is our professionalism. So if they're standing there and you say to them, is there anything here you'd like me to show you? If they don't say anything, guess what? Pick anything that you didn't do inside of the basket, okay? And then show them. So now here's your radish. So the basic idea is always keep closing if they're standing in front of you. Don't get that feeling at the end when you do the demonstration where they're standing there, they're not buying. In any other sales game, the last person that speaks loses. In this game, the last person that shuts up loses. So as long as you're talking and they're there and you're asking for the money, you're going to get it. So good luck.
Hi, my name's Lisa. I'm going to show you my pitch. It's not very fancy, but I try to educate my customer. Uh, number one, when people come up, I always have a tray similar to this set up already. Some people like to do this kind of thing when a customer's there. I prefer to have it set up to generate some interest. Uh, they come up and say, oh, how did you do this? And I tell them I did it all with this tool and these three pieces. First of all, this is peeler. It has a peeling blade. It also has a Julian blade on one hand. It comes with two decoration tools on the sides, which I'll explain to you, and one decorating tool on the tray. The storage tray is like this when it's not in use, but when it is in use, you could use it as simply as a peeling, and it peels both directions. Also, you can make veggie pasta with it by turning it over and using the Julian blade. So now you have your nice julienne slices. V-tool on the side, you score your cucumber. Now the nice thing is there's never any waste with this tool. You also get a nice cucumber stick. If you have a little um, uh, blue cheese dressing, you can use this to nosh on while you're cooking your dinner. So again, you just take your scores, you just go all the way around, Sometimes they get stuck in there if I don't go all the way. And I try to go five times around. This way you get a very interesting shape. So again, when I put my peeling blade down into the opening, this is how I'm going to get my nice star shape. And again, you have no waste because now you have some nice cucumber sticks. I always tell people, wash your tool religiously after each use. This way it won't give the vegetable time to bind to the stainless steel. Since it is stainless steel and ABS, it doesn't really have a chance to bind that much. But just to make sure, always rinse it religiously after every use. I treat this like my best blade. Okay, now I'm going to get to the julienne blade in the mandolin. When I have the julienne blade, I can use it to make a quick stir fry. I take my yellow squash. I take my zucchini. And I take my carrot. This makes a very colorful and quick stir fry. And the beauty part of this is that anybody can do this. So if your customer is a little bit shy about using this tool, this is something they can do right away and get an instant result that's very pleasing. You can use a little bit of garlic and oil and butter and stir fry this quickly with a little black pepper, a little pinch of salt, and you have a really delicious and fun meal right off the bat. Finger food is great unless it's your fingers, so that's why we always recommend using the finger guard, especially when you're getting close to the end or middle of anything that you're working with, especially onions and potatoes. So that's why this comes in handy and it comes with the tool. And you can see how much nicer it is. You can slice and dice with confidence now. Basically, when people ask me at the end um, what the price is, I go ahead and tell them. But I usually wait for them to ask me any other questions that they might have uh, about the product, and uh, which shows that they're still interested. And then at that point, they'll usually say, well, how much is it, if they don't already see the price on the tag. So, and I don't so really have a particular close, but it still works for me. Usually what, when they see all the nice things they can do, especially the squash, you know, the spaghetti and the pasta and all that that you can make with the zucchini. So when I get uh, these little strips, and you can use it with the zucchini or the cucumber, you can roll it up and make uh, a little sushi roll. And what I do is I take a, a knife, and I make a little slit right about where I can tuck in the other end. So here's my little slit. And I just take that other end and tuck it in to hold it in place. And now you have a little sushi roll. The mandolin with the yellow zucchini. Build it up with the green zucchini. Build it up with the carrots. Nice for a stir fry. You mix it all up. You turn it around, you have your slices for your potatoes. But most recipes don't require blood. So this part comes in. Hook it in here on the side of your bowl or your cutting board. And now you have your slices. And if you like the other way around, as I said, Make your own hash browns with the julienne and the potatoes. The sides, what is on the peeler, 
it's really nice to make nice decorations. If you like something different on the table, the V tool here on the side, just cut it in. And now you can imagine when you slice it, you have something different. And kids love to eat those kind of veggies. The other side, the oval part, it's easy to peel an orange now. Just go this way. This is for your margarita. Do it another round, and now it's easy to get the peel off. Easy and simple. The butternut squash. How I do that, and let me try to cut it here first. Cut the end off. And cut the end off. And if I let the customer try, I tell them never go towards you. Because before they over the hump, they mostly hold it this way. So always away from them. Start here, once it grips, it goes. Once it grips, it goes. Turn it the other way around, there it goes. And you go all the way around. And you never have your hand or your thumb in front of the plate. Easy to clean when the julienne is clocked up. There's a little comb here. You just push it through, take it out without cutting yourself, rinse it off, store it this way, upside down in your drawer. The colors are nice. You never have to look for your utensils. The color shows up immediately. Lifetime warranty on the plates, made in Germany, and all the three items, $20. What color would you like? And let me show you one more thing. You have a nice smiley, but you also can give them a little nose. Don't cut it through, just push it through. There you go. If you like them to give them ears, do it this way. This is how you do it.